Hey everyone, my name is Byron. In this video, I'm going to show how a typical day is in the life of a civil engineer working as a city traffic engineer and managing a team. My last day in the live video, I made it when I was completely work from home. I'm happy to finally be able to show a day in the office. Early wake up at around 6 a.m. It's a gym day, which means I need to get up earlier to get my workout in for the morning. I start by packing my work clothing so I can change after my workout. Because I need to start working out at around 7, I don't have much time to eat breakfast. A quick and healthy breakfast is the best so I can be out the door at 6.45. It's a rainy winter day so it's still dark out. As I drive to work, I think about all the rain that we've been getting in the week. It's cold and I don't really feel like working out this early in the morning, but you gotta force yourself sometimes in order to be consistent. I absolutely can't compromise on my own health. Since the pandemic, I no longer have a gym membership and I've had to rely solely on my work gym. This saves me some money, but it was not easy. I'm not an early morning person, so at first it was not fun. But on the plus side, I like it because there's little chance that others will be working out at the same time and I will get all the equipment to myself. After doing it enough time, I've built some new habits. One key that I found helps is to get enough sleep, which I did. I arrive at the office around 7 a.m. The gym is upstairs, so I head over there and I get ready to work out. It's a nice sized small space gym with barbells, dumbbells, and even some kettlebells. Today is upper body chest and arm day. My workout consists of chest press, dumbbell rows, shrugs, bicep curls, and tricep extensions. It's about 8 a.m. and I finish my workout. Time to quickly change into some work clothing and head to my desk. I arrive at my desk knowing I have a busy day ahead. There's not a lot of technical work but a lot of meetings I need to attend. I still somehow have to make time for all the other things I want to get done. First things first, I open up the ATMS or Advanced Traffic Management System that shows the status of all the city's traffic signals. I do some quick checks and see if there are any alerts that need to be addressed. There are staff who do this much more in depth, but it is good to have an extra set of eyes checking every now and then. So far everything looks normal. It's also holiday time in December, so I brought some cookies for coworkers. It's always nice to be able to make people's day a little brighter, no matter how small it is. I open the box and make the rounds to hand some of these out in the office. I was not brave enough to carry the camera around as it would make the conversation with people awkward. So I don't have any footage of that. I get back and have some time to check my email so I do some quick checks to see if there's anything urgent I need to respond to. For everything else, I'm planning on what needs to be done today. I checked and noticed I received a voicemail earlier in the week so I call on one of our traffic signal vendors. We talk about emerging signal technology and how it would be used to improve the city's service. It's interesting and we talked about some possible steps entering into the new year. Since there is still some time before my 10 a.m. meeting, I spend that typing up a response to an email about budget proposals regarding alternative transportation programs. I manage one of the city's transportation demand management programs that provides certain residents with alternative transportation options like transit and active transportation benefits. These programs are area specific and related to a specific tax that the resident pays. The pandemic has changed how people choose to travel. So these program budget allocations and type of work need to adjust to provide the right services. At 10 a.m., I spend the next hour helping one of our new employees get onboarded. As a smaller city, we have the option of hiring consultant on-call help if our workload temporarily gets high. In this case, someone will be joining my team to help out. An hour later, I sign on to Zoom to do a training session with staff on my team. I actually really enjoy teaching and helping others, and it's one of the main reasons why I started this YouTube channel. In the book, High Output Management by Andrew Grove, he talks a lot about how providing training is an extremely high leverage activity a manager can do. High leverage activities for managers are activities that by spending small amounts of time can have large impacts on others. I highly recommend this book for engineers or anyone who is in middle management. It's getting close to lunchtime, so in order to save time, I place an order for some lunch online that I can pick up later. Today I feel like eating Indian food. Meanwhile, while I wait for the order pickup time, I start writing an email about a traffic calming project that I'm managing to one of our team members. As the city's traffic engineering group, we manage a program that installs traffic calming improvements like speed humps. We are transitioning to another part of the planning phase in the program, so it is important that we get started off on the right track entering the new year. While I'm about finishing up on the last email, I also receive a draft presentation for the fee program update we are working on and realize that it needs to be sent out urgently. I need to make some calls. So I call a team member and we both review the presentation over the phone and agree on the major changes that should be made. It's now almost half an hour into my lunch and I'm getting hungry. I'm running late to pick up the food. All of that took a lot more time than I thought, so I quickly leave to pick up lunch. Today is a bit more frantic than I would like. I park, enter the restaurant, and then get my food in short time. No time to waste, back to the office. When I get back, I have about 15 minutes of time to eat. The food is great, but it's hard to enjoy it when you're in a rush. Today is just one of those days. Since I don't have that much time, I fire up the iPad and play a little Simpsons Tapped Out. There's a holiday event in the game, so it keeps me occupied for the time. On days when I have more time for lunch, I like to listen to an audiobook, watch YouTube videos, or catch up on personal emails. I finish up my lunch and it looks like I have enough leftovers for later. Back to work. 
It's now 1 p.m. and I do a check-in call with staff that I'm managing. We go over a couple reviews and talk about assignments for the rest of the week. As you may have noticed, even though I'm back at the office, some people still work from home, so we still hold most of our meetings online. This, of course, reduces the chance of unknowingly spreading COVID if someone is infected. Because we don't see each other in person, it's still important to have these check-ins. When I was studying in university, I thought civil engineers spent their whole day working on technical problems. My job as engineer, who also has to manage a team, has completely changed my perspective. I now have some time to work, so I get back on working on that presentation. I work for city government, which means from time to time we have to prepare presentations for city council. These are public presentations. Our team has been working on completing a major update for the transportation fee program and the draft of the presentation needs a couple edits. Transportation fees is a fee we collect from new development to help fund future city transportation infrastructure. Later today, I will also need to work on the staff report. It's now around 3 p.m. and I have to get on a call to talk about a parking lot situation and what are the appropriate sized trucks that should be used for a parking lot. Different sized trucks have different requirements and have different radii to complete a turn. It's important that a parking lot and parking dot is sized correctly for the trucks that will be used. It's already 4 p.m. and I know that before I leave the office, there are a bunch of invoices I received in the mail that I need to review and sign off for. Because I work at a smaller city, we rely on vendors and consultants to provide services and support to our projects and daily operations. So I spend most of the hour catching up on all the invoices for the projects and programs that I manage. This isn't exactly engineering or the most fun work, but it's necessary to keep things going. Because I manage a lot of programs, I have to review a considerable amount of invoices. This isn't the most fun part of the job, but it needs to get done. With some time left before 5 p.m., I spend it catching up on some emails I receive throughout the day that need a response. This particular one is interesting and requires some decision making. I am currently verifying some details on what the best access management is to use for a minor arterial road. Our team has previously reviewed it and I'm doing a final review of our comments to be sent off. Now after 5 p.m., I have to get ready to start wrapping up the day. I quickly go through all my emails and plan a little on how to prioritize my task for tomorrow. This is important because it allows me to start tomorrow quickly and I found out to help me be more efficient the next day. I'm almost done, now time for one more task of the day. Because the deadline is approaching later this week, I need to start drafting the staff report for the transportation fee program update. It's great to show this because even as engineers, sometimes the next step to get a project further is not engineering related. That's one thing I realized as I took a management role. I'm not always working on technical programs or calculating solutions. Writing is definitely a very important part of the job and being able to communicate effectively can go a long way. This isn't bad either. It has pushed me to expand my skills and know how to do many different things. It's now getting late around 6.45 and it's time to call it a day. Day was definitely a longer day than normal. Some days are like that. As I'm preparing to leave the office, I notice it's still wet and cold outside. I will say that it still feels strange being in the office right now. Because COVID is still around, most meetings are held online and in some ways my day is not much different than when I was working from home. Either way, I'm glad to have the opportunity to do a day in the life in the office even though everything isn't 100% normal yet. I hope you enjoyed watching a day in my life. Since it's late, when I get home, I'm gonna rest a little and get ready to do this again the next day. If you haven't seen my other day in life video, or if you're interested in videos with the topic of transportation, check out my channel. Till next time, bye bye.